You are looking at NOAA's next generation weather satellite, GOES-S. NASA's Launch Services Program and ULA are busy encapsulating the spacecraft to protect it from the unforgiving atmospheric speeds it will encounter during launch. Without this fairing, GOES-S wouldn't survive the journey into space. Thankfully, these engineers know how to keep it safe. This engineer, proceed with the MLP transport to pad. Roger. It's go time. The GOES-S launch window opens tomorrow. ULA and LSP have one last critical procedure to complete. Get the entire Atlas V stack and its mobile launch platform to the pad. Once it gets there, it will be loaded with rocket fuel and be ready to start the terminal count to T0. Years of intense planning and coordination are finally rolling to the pad, and the majesty of the Atlas V is on display as it inches its way to liftoff. This is the LC on one performing pretest briefing. This operation is classified hazardous. Cryogenics will be loaded. ALC verify count to start at 1947 Zulu. Verified. Proceed with the count. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. Rock report range status. Range green. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Range Operations Controller reports range green, everything is go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff of the Atlas V and Noah's GOES-S, a highly sophisticated weather watching eye in the sky to join its twin in providing better forecasts and saving lives. Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path an azimuth of 100.7 degrees. At 35 seconds, the rocket carrying goes S will reach Mach 1, traveling faster than the speed of sound. 47 seconds after launch, the vehicle will pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and the resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. 